Hello class. For this lab, we will be setting up SQLite Studio on your computers and importing a database, as well as setting up our files for this class. The first thing you want to do is go to sqlitestudio.pl. You will also find this link on your Canvas assignment. Then simply click on download and just make sure that it is displaying the right platform depending if you are on a Windows or a MacBook. Once your download is complete, we have to unzip the files and store our SQLite Studio somewhere on our computer as it is a portable program, so it does not need to get installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and extract these files. For right now, it's gonna get put in my downloads folder, that's okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and extract them. And this should open up my downloads folder. So now we have SQLite Studio. As I mentioned, it's not a program that gets installed on your computer. So we want to store this file, uh, this folder, uh, somewhere where it's not going to get deleted and that we have to reinstall it again. So what we're going to do and what I recommend, recommend for you guys to do is create a class folder. So whether you want to do it on, on your desktop, your downloads, or your documents folder, it's up to you, but just make sure that you have a folder where you store all the documents and SQLite Studio for this class. Now, for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and create a folder in my desktop. So I'm gonna create a new folder just for this class, and I'm gonna call it IS26A. Now, inside this IS26A, I can go ahead and go back to my SQLite Studio. Here's the extracted version. I'm going to go ahead and copy that whole folder and then put it in my IS26A folder. So now we have this program. It's in this folder that I know I'm going to be using this whole semester and it's not going to get deleted. So if it happens to, if I happen to go delete my downloads files, that's fine. I still have my program here. Now to run SQLite Studio, all you have to do is open this folder and look for the file that says sqlitestudio.exe. This is the executable file. We're going to go ahead and just double click that file. And there we go. We have SQLite Studio opened. So one little quick tip that you guys can do, you guys could always open it like that. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and right click on this file and I'm going to create a shortcut. And I'm just going to move this shortcut to my uh, parent folder, my IS26 folder. So now I have the files there and I'm just going to rename this shortcut. So whenever I want to run it, I could just click on my shortcut and it will, it will run I'm just a little faster that way. Now, when you first open it up, you will see SQLite Studio with uh, no content. But on this left-hand side, this third databases column, this is going to be our database navigation area. So this is what we're, we're going to see, our database, our tables, our queries. And this part over here is going to be our... SQL, SQL work area. So now what we want to do is import our first database. We will be importing the Rexon Metals database and you can find this on your Canvas assignment. So all you have to do is download the assignment. I already have downloaded mine and I had it's currently in my downloads. So here it is, rexonmetals.database.db and on SQL Light Studio, simply we have to click on database, add database, and we are going to look for that database file. So I'm going to click on this yellow folder here. And I'm going to go to my downloads folder. Look for the Rexon Metals dat dot database. Click open and then click OK. 
now on our databases, you will see the Rexon Metals database. What you want to do is double click on it and then we'll click on customer order. Customer order. And what we'll do to submit this assignment is simply take a screenshot. To take a screenshot, if you're on Windows, I recommend using the snipping tool. So if you just click the start button and then click on snip, you will find the snipping tool. Click new. And this is a quick and easy way to take screenshots of your assignments. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Again, I'm going to save it on my IS26 folder. Maybe I'll create a folder that says, <clears throat> you know, assignments. And inside this assignment, I'll call it, I'll call this screenshot lab 01. And this is what I will submit to get full credit for this assignment.